it do bring it's a little comfort, but we still, you know, we still, like I said, we still got a hump that we gotta, you know, we have to go over and we're gonna take it day by day like we've been doing and we still are not gonna stop. The family of a murdered Ben Davis freshman react today after learning her suspected killer has been arrested. That suspect is a man with a very long criminal history. Today we've got team coverage on this Dominique Allen case, including more reaction from her family and how DNA led to the arrest. We'll begin our coverage today with Eyewitness News Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson, who joins us live from the Marion County Jail. So Steve, what can you tell us about the investigation? Well, the investigation uh, is a very strong investigation. Right now, detectives serve William Goldstein with an arrest warrant here at the Marion County Jail this morning in the murder of Dominique Allen. All of the details of that murder are outlined in these court documents released this morning by the Marion County prosecutor. Goldstein became the prime suspect in the case after Metro Homicide received forensic evidence involving DNA. That DNA, according to court documents, places Goldstein at one of three crime scenes in this case. Dominique Allen was strangled to death at one location, and then prosecutors say her killer set fire to her body at a second location to try to cover up the crime. From the beginning of the investigation, detectives feared all was lost until DNA skin cells extracted from the teenager's body pointed them to the 46-year-old. There were so many highs and lows in this case. I mean, we would get leads and we would think, ah, oh, we're there. And then all of a sudden the area would just come out of the case and you back to square one and you start over again. I have I've had many sleepless nights over this case, um, um, but it's just good for the family. We learned from sources close to the investigation that when detectives questioned the 46-year-old about Dominique's death, he denied having anything to do with it. When told about the DNA, that's when he asked for an attorney. Ghostin will go to court Monday morning. That's when a judge will most likely give him a court-appointed attorney and also set some trial dates as well and enter a preliminary not guilty plea for the murder charge he now faces sitting here at the Marion County Jail. Reporting live, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Steve, thanks so much.